Hey, so we are back for another edition of Halloween Horror Nights. What's going on? And look who decided to come this time. What's up? So we got Wes here. We are here at Stay and Scream. Yep, and we are waiting to go and do another night of Halloween Horror Nights. So we'll take you around, maybe do some live streams, and we'll see We're getting see our money worth. Yeah. Money's worth? Money worth? Money worth? Yeah, we're getting our money worth. But uh, we'll take you around and we'll see you in a little bit once they open up. First house of the night, Stranger Things, there's the line. We're in the Express. Express Pass. You said this was your favorite IP house kind of-ish? Eh, aesthetically, yes. Uh, scary, not so much. I think it's a good house as far as put together well. So, I do like it. It's definitely in my top four, so I will have a top four. But this is why we do Stay and Scream, to come straight to this one as always. Get it done, get it out of the way, and go on. Hey guys, as you can see, it looks like it's getting busy now, actually. It is Friday night here at HHN. And uh, Jared and I are walking around, and as of right now, Carnival Graveyard, oh, it's closed. Keep moving, aww. All right, on to the next attraction. But yeah, the crowds are building, and we're going. we're going into Carnival Graveyard right now. So, we've got our fast pass. We're actually going in there and we're gonna have some fun. So, uh, it's a pretty good house actually, I thought, um, in my opinion. What do you think, Jared? Do you like this house? Yeah, I like the, the buttons that you get to push in this one. Yeah, it's pretty fun. You get to like push buttons and get people wet and stuff like that, so it's pretty neat. It's a good house. Carnival Graveyard, and it didn't link up for me this time as, as good as it was the last couple times I went through it, but it was still a fun house to go to. It's definitely one of the longer ones, and nobody was pushing the buttons. And exactly. You push the buttons, you get people wet in front of you or behind you, or I don't know how it works exactly, but it is pretty cool that you can actually be interactive with the house. Well, so. that's what I did. I pushed the button and got the guy in front of me wet. <laughs> And he jumped and he, he turned back to us and was like, and he like was trying to warn us that you get wet. So <laughs> right. he didn't know that it was us. Yeah, exactly. We were actually getting him wet. So uh, pretty cool you could do that. So, all right, guys, we'll see you here in a minute. Wes is over here popping fog bubbles. Back in uh, our favorite scare zone, or at least mine, I don't know about yours. Yeah, this is a really good one. It's short, but it's really good. I love it. Got out of Poltergeist, so we're getting a bunch of houses under our belts early in the night. It's only seven o'clock. We still got plenty of time tonight to do a bunch of more stuff. So done yeah, we've already done four houses. That was actually a lot of fun. Oh, the lights just went off. Now I'm scared. But anyways, we will see you guys here in a little bit, and uh, we're gonna go get some food. Favorite uh, house we're in line for? Yeah, this is probably up there with one of the favorites. Definitely. Slaughter Cinema. Slaughter Cinema. Longest absolutely. express line I've ever been in. All the way down there is the regular line. Yes, yeah, that is a huge wait. But this house is really good. Recommend it to everybody who has a chance to try it. Do it. It's good. It's actually a really long house, too. 
And there's the station wagon that they used from the Walking Dead house a long time ago. Men in Black while we're waiting. We have a special guest we're going to be meeting up with pretty soon, I think, for just a little bit. So we'll introduce you to him when we meet up. But who's going to win Men in Black? Uh, Alien probably Attack. Probably you. We'll see. <laughs> I think so too. All right. See you guys later. I was kicking your butt. Like, you me. 188. No. I won. Yeah, you, were, you were at 150. 186. Someone's a sore loser. Oh, yeah, right. Hey guys, Wes here from Florida Fanatics, and we just met up with a friend of ours from Expedition Theme Park. Say hello. Hello. <laughs> hey, Jared, what's going on? And we're pretty much heading out for the night, but it was pretty cool to actually get to meet him and hang out for a little bit. And uh, we're going to look forward to the future and meeting up with this guy in the future. So go and yeah. check out his channel. He has really good content. Comment, subscribe, and uh, you won't be disappointed, guys. So we will find you guys. <laughs> we're going to go do Barney. The Barney Haunted House is the most <laughs> wicked of them all. It's twisted, man. It's you know. It is sick. We're on our we're on our um, last house, I guess, for tonight. It's getting late, yeah, and we're getting tired, so we're gonna do Seeds of Extinction. Now Wait, we are. I thought we were in Trick or Treat's line. No, we're in I'm Seeds tired. of Extinction. I don't know what line we're in. So this is gonna be us walking off all those freaking powdered donuts. Yeah, I know. This is the longest walk in, in the in park. Pizza fries. <laughs> but um, I don't know. I. A lot of people say they don't like this house. I like this house. I do too. I think it's great. It's, it's, in my, it's my number four, right? So I have a top three. And, uh, now I can Can't hear you. You're talking in a way. I definitively have a top four now, I'm trying to say. Sorry. <laughs> but, uh, and I would say Trick or Treat is my number four out of, the, out of all the houses. But man, line's all the way back up here. But this one, um, no, I really enjoy it. It's... I mean, it, people are saying the pl plants aren't scary or anything, but I thought the costumes and the creatures looked cool. So we kind of stopped here, but yeah, we've been, we were walking for like an, an hour. I think we're almost back in Tampa and we're still not at the house yet. So we are waiting for Seeds of Extinction and uh, good house, in my opinion is that the scare actors are a little hard to see. That's about all. Hey guys, what's up? So we are actually leaving Halloween Horror Nights. It's been a long day for us. Yes. It's been hot. It's <laughs> been fun. Look, I'm, I'm sweating. His first time doing Stay and Scream. How did you like it? It was a, it was cool. Uh, yeah, we got to we, we got to take advantage of it. It was Friday, so on the busy days, definitely do the Stay and Scream. Uh, on a Wednesday, maybe it's, do Stay and Scream too. Yeah, whatever. I've been yeah, doing maybe. it every Wednesday, so it, it, you get a lot of the houses uh, done quickly. Sorry, We're out of focus, like, constantly. <laughs> yeah, it happens. Um, but stay and scream, definitely do it. We got through, I think, four, five houses just in the first hour. Yep. So we also met Great Channel Expedition Theme Park. Great content. Absolutely. Comment and subscribe. Uh, we'll put a link to his channel below. So if you, yeah, if you are not familiar with his channel, he does a lot of videos on extinct attractions, extinct parks. Yes. Um, very nostalgic. Go watch it if you love theme parks, because it, 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 he does an amazing job. Exactly. You'll learn a thing. You'll learn a thing or two from this guy, and he really knows his stuff. So check him out, and uh, you won't regret it. Yep. We had a great time at the houses, and like he said, we're going to be back, but we're going to yep. be leaving as of now. All right, guys. So we're out for now. Please comment and subscribe below. Florida fanatics are leaving. <laughs>